What do you get when you put a brand new sim on an empty lot with no money, activate all lot challenges, and expect her to have 100 babies? You get the Extreme 100 Baby Challenge. Hi everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411 and we are back in Henford on Bagley with Miss Rhea Avis, my sim self, and her ever-changing brood of children. So let's quickly recap. First, today might be the day that the infant update drops. If that's the case, and I get a notification in the upper right, I might go ahead and restart my game and see what happens. Otherwise, this is probably, well, this is the last episode of the Baby Challenge Before Infants. And I have speculated on how I'm going to go forward from here, and that would be to skip the newborn stage entirely, play with infants for two days, and then move on forward just as, just as previously. Because... I'd rather play with infants than object-based babies. It's just not going to lie. Uh, so Ren cannot go to Salvadorada on her own as a teenager, so I've decided it's time for her to grow up. She has all of her archaeology with the exception of the last ones. That requires hands-on commitment. Uh, Carla is just grew up at the end of the last episode. We have baby Daisy here and one baby on the way. And um, I want to say Bukupanibo Hekakia is the, is the parent. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. But let's go ahead. And she blew out the candles. Go ahead. Happy birthday, Ren. All right, there we go. And her aspiration is wellness, but we're going to go ahead and switch her to archaeology. She is a perfectionist. Archaeology is a knowledge one. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. All right. There you go. And we'll go back and pick up wellness whenever she needs to. So she needs to go to Selva Dorada. So, I finally got little Carla into the club. I mean, she's only been a child for a very short period of time, but it is time for her to go ahead and start being a member of the family, which means we need to get her up to an A in school. That's not going to happen before the weekend because tomorrow is Friday. So, she's got a whole week at a weekend ahead of her. Uh, she might become a very accomplished child. Who knows? Um, we are only going to be going to the Selva Dorada while kids are at school because otherwise, can, then I kind of think of it as an active career. Otherwise, it's a vacation. We're not doing vacation. We're working. Okay? And let's get this child going. So we need to get the season premiere taken care of easy points for just watching TV. That's great. All right, why don't we all, you watch the current channel and you watch the current channel, do this as a family. Getting down there, you'll, okay. That's great. You do you. And Rhea is going to finish her writing, but not any time in the near future, I'm sure. Are you watching that? Or Okay, I guess you are. That's great. Just for watching TV with her family. Carla picked up a social skill. That's awesome. Hey. So I am going to be getting Rhea. Oh, there we go. Look at that. All right, we've all had a great day. Now, Rhea, you need to go work on a new book. Uh, Ren, you need to help Carla with her homework. We'll get this done. Okay, so I am writing biographies about all of the baby daddies. So this is a biography dedicated... To baby daddy number two 
father of Chad. There we go. Okay. So I am actually playing a base game only 100 baby challenge. And so she doesn't have all the advantages that Rhea or even Kayla Palacios had. So she has been doing a painting of every child, writing a children's book for every child. She is growing dragon fruit as her primary source of income. So yeah, she's doing great. Her name is Evangeline Choi. And I will be having her experiment with infants before we go live with. Rhea. Okay, so yeah. Write that book, Rhea. Meanwhile, Ren is teaching little Carla about responsibility and Zach is becoming friends with Carla. That's great. We love that. We love a cohesive family unit, even the ones outside of the nest. All right. And Rhea had low fun. Now she's doing great now. She enjoys her writing, thinking about her child, one of her many children. She actually is on child 31 right now, I believe, and she's not even halfway through her young adulthood, so she'll get through this. So we're basically just keeping Ren occupied until it's ready for her to go to work tomorrow in Selva Dorada. Here is a death flower that we managed to get from the wishing well, so there's that. Thank you. And where'd it go? Where did my death flower go? I will be really mad if I lost a death flower. Okay, didn't lose it. And Carla is working on her social, just jetting right up that with her big brother, Zach, here. Zachy Poo, thank you so much. Pop culture reference. I think Zach was a, let's see, who was, Zach Uha, yeah, another non-mermaid. Oh, look at that, six and seven. Way to go, eight. Look at this, so easy. Almost there. And she'll be able to turn him into a best friend real easy. Because look at that relationship. Nine. Ten. Okay, perfect. And that relationship is amazing. So why don't you become best friends with your big brother, Zach? Where? There we go. Become best friends. Oh, isn't that sweet? Okay. All right, so we made a club with three kids and two adults. Activate it. And she's done. Easy peasy. Now that she's completed her social butterfly, we're, we have Carla just working on her mental skills, which is amazing. And Ren, why don't you cancel that? All right, great, and play one more time. Good job. Bailey's howling at the moon. That's awesome. We love that for you, Bailey. And Rhea, Rhea's reading to Carla, or at least trying to. Not doing a very good job. Okay. This is going to be a failure of a story time, not going to lie. Not a guarantee, but it does work best if we turn off autonomy. Hello, Daisy. Can I help you? Daisy, my cat, not Daisy, my sim baby. And now that Carla is off to school, it's time for Ren to make a phone call and go to Selva Dorada. Take a vacation all by yourself. Okay, I did not ask for this, but apparently Rhea came along with us. That's fine. 
Carla and Daisy were sent to daycare. Well, Carla is currently at school, but why don't you study hard, Carla? And is there a possible for me to send her home? Rhea, can you go home on your own? Go to lodging. Is it possible for you to go home alone? I don't think so. Nope. Nope. Oh, well. Okay, so we'll be back before 3 p.m. or shortly thereafter. So first thing she's got to do is find an excavation site and excavate it. It actually works better to establish an ex excavation site. Looks like I can't say that out loud, but it takes more time this way. Oh, Rhea, why don't you just do this? Why not dig twice? I mean, it's here. May as well. Something for you to do. As a matter of fact, we're going to actually switch her over to curator. As long as, as long as she's here, we're going to just pick up some things just to see. All right. And, yep, you can't survey for another dig pile. And she found a citrine, yay, and she's excavating air and she found a fire opal. You can, as long as you queue it up twice, you can get two things. That's great. And since there's a cool down for surveying, there are actually at least two dig piles usually here at the museum. So we're going to go ahead and do that while Rhea looks for things to dig up. You go for it, ladies. And there's a cat. Rhea, when are you due? You're in your third trimester. Pro 18 hours of new baby. Okay. Check on Ren over here. Excavating. That's great. And I should be able to get a dirt clump. At least something. Rhea's just taking her own sweet time. She's fine. You're fine. It's fine. Oh, she found a diamond. Nice. And she collected five crystals. Yay! Good job. Okay, so we're going to paint something from reference. Let's see what we can get in our viewfinder. Sure, why not? Something to occupy her while Ren's doing her archaeology. You know, pretending to be Indiana Jones and Tomb Raider all rolled up in one. Lara Croft. Yeah, you do this. Okay, so she got the three, but she didn't get the un the dirt clump that she needs. So we found another dirt pile. Hopefully, she'll get the, her dirt clump while Ray is painting. Otherwise, we're going to have to come back because it's 2.30. And she stinks. Lovely painting, Raya. Let's just go ahead and... You know what? Let's put that in your inventory. And I'm guessing that Carla came home with a B. Can we can't we can't click on Carla, but I'm guessing she came home with a B. Yep. Okay, great job. And that's a great way to go into the weekend. Not much to do. So we're back home on the farm, and actually Daisy would have been able to grow up before we left for Selva Dorada, but that's fine because it's not like I could have done anything with her. So let's do a little bit of super efficient baby care and make sure all of her needs are top notch before she becomes a toddler. And Daisy may or may not be. A mer 
mean, we're hoping. She's independent. That's great. Check her. Ah, oh, she's a mermaid. Yay. We have a little mermaid. Yay. Okay. And she's a blondie like her, like her primary mommy. Okay. This is wonderful. We love it. Okay. Great. So now that's another occult baby. And we've got a potential one on the way. Plus we have to line up a baby daddy. So her other mommy is Kalamainu Iona. And why did you just pop up onto her hip? We did not pick you up. What's going on here? What's going on? Put her down. I didn't reset them. I had to leave the lot and come back. So Rhea would put down the baby. Let's go ahead and get this child uh, potty trained and get her ready for her life. She's got to learn how to swim, I'm thinking. So Daisy is an independent bean, which means they actually learn faster when they're on their own. Although, where's the skill bar? No. Well, it's going up, so that's all that matters. I don't know where the skill bar is. That's fine. And I told you to take a bubble bath. You're very clean. Why are you not taking? Why are you not playful? What's her personality? Maybe her personality prevents her from getting playful. Okay, I need to get her playful though. So clearly, I'm going to have to take her back to Selva Dorada to find that dirt clump again. But now's not the time. Like I said, we're only going to do that while the kids are at school. So in the meantime, she can work on actually finishing up that last skill. You go, Red. In the meantime, Rhea is just plugging away on her writing. We're up to baby daddy number four, who is Trevor Douglas. Let's go ahead and get this written. And we will call this... Trevor Douglas. What it means. Oh, let's try that. Again. It means to be an incompetent doctor. Okay. And this is a biography of baby daddy number four father of L Douglas Ava Avis there we go yeah because he's really a, sh a terrible terrible doctor <laughs> now Ren completed her analysis and she just got 4,000 for doing it. That's great. Let's just go ahead and authenticate all the, all the ones that she's got in her pocket while we wait to get a dirt clump. And Bailey is scratching her fleas as usual. You'll be okay, Bailey. We'll get you some flea treatment. She looks a lot like her dad. And that's not always a bad thing, but it didn't work out for her. And great job reaching the top of your motor skills. Let's see, are have you got the high score yet? No, not yet. Once you do, then we'll put you across the monkey bars and move you on to another aspiration. Rock on. And per usual, there is a ghost on the lot, so let's go ahead and welcome him so he feels like he can stay. They're much better when you make them feel welcome. Where are you, Rhea? Come on. Just sit there and think about it. That's great. OK. 
Okay. Another genuine artifact. Great job. Let's go ahead and ship it back. Right? Have you completely given up on the ghost? Great. Little Daisy is currently at potty level two. Doing great. Yep. Take a look, see down there. That's awesome. And afterwards, you actually need to finish eating that salad. Yeah, because you're hungry. And then we'll get some fun. Yay! Good job! Potty two! And Carla, looks like you're... There we go! Two aspirations completed. Not even finished with school yet. Great job. And now we're going to try this reading thing again because it drives me nuts. Like, oh, we're going to read for like five minutes. I think it's like 30 minutes, but okay, there we go. She finally got one full hour in. And now read to her again. Imagination skill. Good job. Let's check on Daisy. Oh, Ren just finished another. Oh, and good job, Daisy, level three. Perfect. Ren, let's see how much we got for this one. And Rhea, reading. Sister, what you doing? Enjoying the reading? Mom's an author. Daisy, Daisy's got to be really close on her imagination right now. Oh, so close, so close. Bet we don't even need those last three. Rhea, I'm guessing we need to, yep, there we go. Rhea, let's read this one more time. Hopefully this will take care of it. Daisy, why don't you come out and stare at your mother Your fun is good. Your social is not so good. Okay, we'll get that taken care of. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, now she's finally got that. Let's get her some homework finished. While focused, we can do that. And I haven't even given her a makeover, but... This is such a sweet, dainty little bean. Sometimes they're, she's just so dainty. Look at her. And we got another knife. And let's go ahead and mail that one back. That one apparently, oh, almost 4,000 simoleons. Great. Well, hopefully we'll get some more. And I really need that dirt clump. Basil, the rabbit that was trapped on our lot for so long has died. I hope it wasn't a terrible death. I hope it was just old age. But that makes me sad. And Carla is becoming a super student. She's already got... There we go. So she only has to get an A, craft three emotional potions, and achieve a 10 in mental skill. Excellent. Oh, look, there's a baby daddy who delivered himself to our door. Let's go meet him. Cheerful introduction, Rhea. Everybody else will attend the garden. You've got other things to do. Although, my next baby daddy is actually going to be Francis Sorensen, I'm sure. But it's nice to have one in the wings. And that's all I needed from him. Because, yeah, he looks to be human. <laughs> And Rhea is now in labor, so it is go time. Uh, get whatever's in the mail. Let's see if there's anything interesting. And Carla has now done everything for the whiz kid, except for getting an A in school. So we'll just switch her over to creativity and get a couple things done for that. But, of course, Rhea needs to get a baby out of her. And then go see Francis Sorensen. So yeah, there's that. 
They won't garden unless you tell them to do it together. Then she'll garden. And we're at 56 minutes. I like to wait till less than an hour. And let's go have a baby at a hospital. And we'll join her. Nobody needs to go with her. They're always useless anyway. Let's go. And there's Trevor, uh -huh. the incompetent doctor. He'll just basically follow along and act all scared while she does all the work. And this is my little simming partner, Sweet Lily. She's so a pro at this at this point. Just sit down. All right. And it's a boy. We will call him Edward Hekekia Avis. Let's see, maybe Edward seen. Let's just call him Eddie. Seems more appropriate. Okay, Eddie Hekekia Avis. There we go. And any moment now. I just noticed they have a direction of what direction they're supposed to lay in. Love that. All right. Birth certificate. Getting it done. Trevor, don't have a lot of confidence in you. There we go. And we're done. And now that she's home and wearing her very comfortable hospital gown, it is time to give a call. Hey, you want to come over? And, oh start the gathering. That's right. We just started the gathering. Don't leave. I guess they're going to leave and then they'll come back. Okay. All right. That's fine. And Ren's working on... You want to come to the Romance Festival? No, Santa. Thank you, though. Let's get this taken care of while we're waiting for my date to get here. Okay, somehow she was able to invite him over but has not officially met him. So let's go ahead, even though they've got this relationship, let's go ahead and give him an enchanting introduction. He's already feeling playful, which is always a good lead in into flirty. And that's a great start. Okay, so, oh, he's, and I added the um, observant trait. He's a genius, hot-headed, and, pers and perfectionistic. If he weren't already married to Judith Ward, she might go after him. But no, we're really, really holding on for Zane. But go ahead and beguile him. Not going to lie, Yule, just you standing here. Little bit of a block. Okay, very awkward encounter. That's great. Okay, well, let's go ahead and give him a first kiss because he is feeling flirty. And... Oh, asked to be your boyfriend right away. First kiss. First kiss. I don't want to talk to my son. I want to talk to the alien. First kiss. Hey, Jeffrey. All right. And now, how about having a baby? In space. Well, that's where we will conceive it. He, he's uh, okay. 
All right, have fun, kids. And my recent amorous activity has revealed that Francis is an alien. No crap. I think I figured that one out. <laughs> okay. And they are back. Let's see if mission was accomplished. Mission Center, we are now checking for pregnancy. We are now checking for pregnancy. Where's Rhea? And here we go, Rhea. Moment of truth. She's eating for two. Woo! All right, go let Francis know. And Ren, you need to take care of that baby. Look at how confident she looks. She's like, baby on board. Thanks for stopping by, whatever your name was. Sorry. He's like, that is amazing. And now, can we just be friends? Let's just be friends. Oh my gosh, he just analyzed her. That is so funny. They don't get a moodlet from being analyzed, but he analyzed her. Okay, thanks. Now, now go home. You go home now. So the next baby is a two-syllable F baby. And you know what? Father's name is Francis. I think we're going to call the baby Francis regardless. Boy or girl, baby is Francis. Sorensen Avis. We're going to go ahead and give this sweet little baby a bath. And Carla is working on her kid art. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. No, really, give her a bath. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to confuse you. Carla is working on her art. And Ren just finished up the last of her artifacts. Great job. And Ren, why don't you help everybody feel better? And you know what? Let's check the garden. And baby sister is getting really high on her skills. She is hungry, so we'll need to take care of that. But we're almost finished with potty, almost finished with thinking, movement she's gotten just by walking around the house doing other things. And it is the first day of fall. Oh, she just got three point or third point of movement just by hanging out. Okay, great. We're going to need to get you a salad, though. Okay, so apparently one of the siblings made a TV dinner that I was able to give to her. So, hey, have a TV dinner. <laughs> I can't. All right, that's fine. All right, and are you satisfied? You need to potty. That's okay. Why don't you do that? Go potty. Oh, no, Rhea, put that child down. I did not tell you to pick her up. No, do not pick her up. She's got a potty. I don't want her to poo her pants. And Ren is finally getting her parenting skills. You know, it doesn't seem right that teenagers can't actually get parenting skills because, you know, when I was 12 years old, I was babysitting other kids, but today 12-year-olds need babysitters. So there's that. And it's taken a minute for Carla to be able to get her drawing in because she kept falling out of inspiration. So she's actually got quite a lot of her uh, drawing skills, or I should say creativity, she's maxed on. That's fine. <laughs> so anything she does from here on in just builds other skills. Congratulations. And good job maxing that thinking skill. Let's get you something to eat because apparently you didn't like the TV dinner. We'll get you something else. And there's an earthquake. That's okay. Just go on, do what you do. Gave the little one a choco berry to kind of cover up a little bit. Oh, somebody's afraid. Seismic activity, potty accident. 
But no voodoo. She was actually attacked by voodoo when she's brand new. Okay, so Sorensen, Francis Sorensen, probably doesn't seem to get the idea. He just actually, he wants to take things to another level and wants Rhea to be his girlfriend. We're going to say no to that because you've already done what we need you to do. We only said yes to Santa because he hadn't filled in. And Grim, we said yes because we're still trying to figure that one out. No way! And, of course, no visit to the Avis household would be quite fulfilled if there weren't... Oh, my gosh. She's, she's, she's caught herself on... Extinguish yourself. Extinguish yourself, Ren. Okay. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and just replace things. Oh, that was, that was terrible. Okay. Until we get rid of Curse, we probably shouldn't try to cook. So the fire is already put out, but Rhea decided to pick up the baby and run out to the edge of the property with her. Because that was useful. All right. Rhea, why don't you put her, read, read Daisy to sleep. And then you need to, something, you need to feed the child. Picking her up and running her out to the property, that was not useful. You know, this child is going to pass out hungry, but if she had done everything I needed to, to do in the order she'd be in bed and fed. Just saying. It's just driving me nuts. And every episode I promise myself that I'm going to get, this would be the episode that I get animals, and I always forget. But you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so we're going to, we just got ourselves a cow. Call her over. Come on, cow. Hello. Let's name her Mocha. Oh, Daisy. No, we can't have a child named Daisy and a cow named Daisy. Just can't. But that's adorable. Okay, we will name her Mocha. All right. And now let's go ahead and love on Mocha. Let's see. Vent about cow life. Socialize. Ask how cows make milk. Pet Mocha enthusiastically. Show her a dance move. And smother Mocha with love. And tell a joke about legendary milk. It's legend. Wait for it. Dairy. She is an animal enthusiast. Matter of fact, I should actually go over and put her under country caretaker at this hot minute. Oops. We purchased one, but not while I had... Okay. I'll purchase a chicken. We'll just purchase a hen chick that works does that work yeah it does oh my gosh look at that she loves her cow and it's increased her comedy skill that's interesting apparently the cow likes the jokes okay you go in there Let's check out this little chicken that we purchased. Where is it? Where is it? Gather roaming chickens to coop. Okay, hen chick. I don't know where it is. Where's my chicken? Here, chickens. There she is. Okay, and we are going to actually name her Fluff. That sounds just fine. And we will actually love on fluff. Discuss printing methods. And explain chiculation theory. Pet her enthusiastically. 
play with her, smother her with love, and tell a joke about Egg's acting abilities. Okay. Plus, I need to socialize with a fox, rabbit, or bird five times. I haven't done much with the country curator. I mean, I've done it right after I got the game, but I haven't done it, anything with her. Oh, my gosh. How's your... Oh, look at this. That is what the country life is about. Especially since we can't really have a pet. <laughs> this will work. Okay. All right, you know what? What we're going to do is we're going to scatter feed nearby. We've got a fox, a fox safe coop. I was literally waiting for her to finish her uh, nerd brain before we did that because it's easier to upgrade with nerd brain than to fulfill the tasks that they give you in Henford on Bagley. One more poop, and Daisy is finished with her potty. Then she just has a little bit of playing in the ball pit. Way to go. All right. And you won't be going to school today, but you'll be going to school tomorrow, so that's fine. And Carla, how are you doing? Are you finished? Oh, you just finished all five. Okay, now play an instrument for five hours. Basically, you're ready to go to school. Play your instrument. Please play the instrument. Play the instrument. Okay, you're literally sitting there not playing the instrument. Okay. Okay, we have some serious game lag here. Actually, not game lag as much as camera lag, but that's okay. And I'm just going to call my, call it quits on my camera. Okay, we never gave Daisy a proper makeover, which is fine, but it is her birthday now. So we put her in her party clothes, which are a better look than her every day. So there's that. And let's grow her up. Daisy, you've been a fun toddler, except for when you didn't do what I told you to. Now grow up. Rhea, you could grow her up. Carla, you're doing great. You're at four hours. Rhea? Still thinking about picking up your child? Yep, still thinking about it. Ren, you're feeling tense. That's great. I love that for you. Okay, here we go. All right. Daisy. Okay, Daisy. Alright, you are independent, and now you are neat. We love that for you. Okay, and we'll find out your aspiration in just a minute. Okay, so she rolled creativity. That is wonderful. And with that, I will... Oh my goodness. And like I said, she was just dainty. Look how thin she is. She's definitely, definitely... Gonna, oh my goodness, she looks a lot like her other mother. Look at the stink eye on her. Anyway, I will call it quits on this episode. I will see you soon in the pixelated world, and that's all I have to say. VK out.